In the previous episode, sailors shared with us their scariest moment at sea. Now it's time to learn what weather forecasting system they are using. When we're, before we leave, obviously we look at all the usual websites, you know, all of the, the grid file websites that you can use. Um, we um, read blogs from the weather people that keep blogs and uh, we just use all the resources that are available to us and then when we're on passage if we're offshore we keep in touch with people back in the UK via satellite phone who give us routing advice and weather advice. Okay, when you are close to shore what is your favourite? Um, well it depends where we are so if you're in a country like New Zealand where they have a very good inshore weather forecasting system I would use the NZ Met Service uh, local forecasting system. If we were in the UK, you'd use the Met Office. If you're somewhere like the Marquesas, where there are local forecasts but they're less reliable, um, you might be looking on the internet for other sources. So I wouldn't say there's a favourite, it depends where you are. I'm downloading uh, grid files from uh, saildocs.com uh, when I'm here with the internet and uh, when I'm on the way with a uh, iridium uh, phone. Oh. <laughs> when we're coastal, like in, in New Zealand, we'd use um, the internet for most of our forecasting. Yeah, we use, use Windy, uh, we'd use New Zealand Met Service. Predict Wind. Uh, when we're offshore, we, we, would, we use... Um, what do we use? We, use, we, uh, use we, we, don't have, we don't use a satellite phone, we use our SSB radio. Uh, we use the weather forecast system uh, we get with the SSB radio. So each day we ask the weather forecast by SSB. So we can see what the wind speed will do at a certain moment. Uh, what, us, uh, what we don't find interesting if it is going to be cloudy or rainy. We only look at wind and thunderstorms. That's the only thing. So we do it by SSB radio. We use uh, Predict Wind and Iridium Go. So we download grip files and use them in the app to show the weather. And if we have internet, we use Windy, Windy and supplement with the local weather forecast. Mostly passage yeah, weather. Passage weather. for me is uh, very important. Do you have access to passage weather when you are on a passage as no, well? No. So you don't have weather when you are on a passage? Until now I had no forecast. Uh, I had only the forecast when I leave a port, a marina. I watch the forecast and it's for one week. And uh, I make some pictures from uh, 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 screenshots from the forecast mm -hmm. and every day or every five hours and uh, then I had the uh, weather maybe for the next seven days but on the sea until now I don't have but now I install uh, Iridium Go and now it's uh, possible. So when we are uh, offshore we use uh, Predict Wind on our Iridium Go it's a satellite phone so we download grid files and we can see a lot of information on that uh, it worked out very well for us. We had sometimes uh, more wind than uh, predicted, but in general that worked very well. And when we're coastal, we use everything we can get our hands on. Uh, if we have Wi-Fi, we will use uh, all the internet channels, Windy, uh, Predict Wind, uh, we have uh, Passage Weather, uh, Radio, Television, everything that we can uh, get some local information from. Uh, it's uh, welcome. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, cruisers will share with us their thoughts about what is critical for safety at sea. If you find this topic interesting, please give us the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on. Thank you.